Anamda Kano makes fresh demands from Buhari's government. Anamda Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has demanded 25 billion naira compensation from the Nigerian government. Kano urged a federal high court sitting in Umwahia, Abia State, to compel the federal government to compensate him with 25 billion naira over his arrest and repatriation from Kenya. He explained that the money was compensation for the physical, mental, emotional, psychological, property and other damages he suffered as a result of the infringement on his fundamental rights. The IPOB leader's claim was contained in a suit filed before the court by his special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, where he stressed that his arrest in Kenya was illegal. Ejimako disclosed that he would be leading a legal team to demand that Justice Evelyn Ayan D.K. led court enforces Kano's fundamental human rights. A statement by Ejemako titled, Re, Nam the Kano approaches Federal High Court, Umwahia, to enforce his fundamental rights against unlawful explosion, reads partly. Today, 25th of March 2022, on behalf of Mazi Nam the Kano, I'm leading a team of lawyers at the first hearing of the fundamental rights enforcement suit I had brought before the Umwahia Division of the Federal High Court. The matter lies before Justice Evelyn Ayandike. The suit is sui generis and primarily aimed at redressing the infamous unlawful explosion or extraordinary rendition of Namdekanu, which is a clear violation of his fundamental rights under Article 12 of 4 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. In addition to the rendition, I'm asking the court to redress the myriad violations that came with the rendition such as the torture the unlawful detention and the denial of his right to the fair hearing required by law before anybody is expelled from one country to another you will recall that on the 19th of january 2022 the high court of abia state determined that portion of violation of kanu's fundamental rights that occurred in 2017 even as i had made the claim that bordered on rendition, the court declined jurisdiction on grounds that rendition being related to extradition lies within the exclusive jurisdiction of the Federal High Court. So this instant suit is as a result of my considered decision that the fresh action before the Federal High Court will be the best route towards addressing this matter of rendition or unlawful explosion and its legal impacts on the prosecutorial powers of the Nigerian state. To be sure, the extraordinary rendition of Namdekano triggered legal injuries that cut across multiple jurisdictions, both inside Nigeria and abroad. There are now new legal and even diplomatic issues that must be addressed in the United Kingdom, Kenya, the United Nations, and the African Union. And within Nigeria, the rendition has expanded the matter far beyond the realms of the trial that lies in Abuja. Kanu is seeking the following reliefs. A declaration that the arrest of the applicant in Kenya by the respondent agent without due process of law is arbitrary and the respondent's enforced disappearance of the applicant for eight days and a refusal to produce the applicant before a Kenyan court for the purpose of applicant's extradition is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental rights against arbitrary arrest to his personal liberty and to fair hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under the pertinent provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria CFRN and the Charter. A declaration that the detention of the applicant in a non-official secret facility in Kenya and the torture of the applicant in Kenya by the respondent's agent is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental right against unlawful detention, torture and to fair hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under the pertinent provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Charter. A declaration that pursuant to Article 12 of 4 of the Charter the explosion or extraordinary rendition of the applicant from Kenya to Nigeria by the respondents without a decision taken in accordance with the law of Kenya is illegal, 
unlawful, unconstitutional, and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental right to fair hearing and not to be expelled from a state party to the charter except by virtue of a decision taken in accordance with the law as enshrined and guaranteed under the pertinent provisions of the CFRN and the charter. A declaration that any criminal prosecution of the applicant, the purpose of which the respondent unlawfully expelled the applicant from Kenya to Nigeria is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional, and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental rights to fair hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under the pertinent provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Charter, an order of injunction restraining and prohibiting the respondent from taking any further steps in any criminal prosecution of the applicant, enabled by the said unlawful explosion of the applicant from Kenya to Nigeria, an order mandating and compelling the respondent to forthwith restitute or otherwise restore the applicant to his liberty, same being his state of being as of 19th of June 2021, and to thereupon repatriate the applicant to his country of lawful domicile to with the United Kingdom to await the outcome of any formal request the respondents may file before the competent authorities in Britain for the lawful extradition of the applicant to Nigeria, an order mandating and compelling the respondents to issue an official letter of apology to the applicant for the infringement of his fundamental rights and publication of said letter of apology in three national dailies, an order mandating and compelling the respondents to pay the sum of 25 billion naira to the applicant being monetary damages claimed by the applicant against the respondents jointly and severally for the physical, mental, emotional, psychological, property and other damages suffered by the applicant as a result of the infringement of the applicant's fundamental rights by the respondent. Namda Kano has just made a fresh demand from the Federal Republic of Nigeria, from the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, is demanding 25 billion naira as compensation from Buhari's government for infringement on his human rights. You know, up to now, Buhari's government have not been able to defend the unlawful repatriation. They have not been able to defend it because it was unlawful. Due process was not followed at all. Well, we'll see how Buhari's government reacts to this um, uh, demand. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.